Hey, this is Larson Crockett. This is Garrett Atzenweiler. And guys, you know, usually see Garrett and I out in the gym, we're out moving around, but today's a special treat. We're actually in the Genostem studios because we've had so many people reach out to us and want to talk about testosterone, testosterone, and testosterone, right? That's right, yep. So, so many men are out there and they're so worried about um, the low T, the dreaded low T, and then we have younger men that are wanting to use other supplements or maybe some synthetic uh, supplements or drugs that uh, I totally disagree with. I know you have the same uh, idea I do about this. Yeah, I always say if you can get you know something naturally and you know help your body out with no no kind of bad side effects or anything like that, that's the way to go. Um, last resort is any kind of drugs, of course. Right, right, right. So today we've got the pins in hand because we're going to be going through the checklist of what this really means. So sit back and enjoy and get some really good information here because we're going to tell you the straight skinny on what this is all about. Now, when it comes to Garrett and myself, uh, I'm an older athlete. I am 62 years old, but this is the shape I stay in at 62. If I can do it, you can do it. Garrett here is 29. 28. Oh, yeah. excuse me. All right, yeah. Let's stop again. We're going to start all over again. Sorry. Ready? <laughs> Last time we'll do this. That gives me marks in the audio that I oh, really? see. Oh, Oh, nice. I right, was smiling and... Hey, this is Larson Crockett. This is Garrett Atzenweiler. And guys, today is a special treat because we're actually out of the gym and we're yeah. inside the Genosim studio because we want to talk about the dreaded... What does everybody keep contacting us about? Testosterone. Testosterone, testosterone, testosterone. And there's so much garbage out there in some of these wild pictures. These guys are huge and they think you're going to take this, you're going to get that. Let's talk about the straight skinny. Let's talk about the truth. Let's take all the BS out today and all the salesmanship, and just give you a fax, what testosterone is, uh, anabolic hormones, and stuff like that, how we're going to get you there. Um, you know, I'm an older athlete, and but I still train every day. I'm 62 years old. Um, Garrett, you're 28. 28, yep. And so, as you know, you and I have had these discussions, you're not really looking to your next birthday because most men's testosterone levels start to drop at the age of 29. 29, yep. So, you know, I know you don't want to get there. You're not going to get there because yep. you're living the peptide life also. Right. So, you know, we're just going to keep talking about it. So, guys, let's, let's talk about testosterone. We've got our checklist here. What is testosterone? Have you ever even taken the time to look? So we'll give you a quick thing right here. Gary, if you go ahead and read the top line here, let's get you in. Sure, yeah. Testosterone is a hormone produced by the human body. It's mainly produced in men by the testicles. Testosterone affects a man's appearance and sexual development. It stimulates sperm production as well as a man's sex drive. It also helps build muscle and bone density. So if that's not one of the most important things, I don't know what is. Well, absolutely. And did you know testosterone is absolutely also produced in the adrenal cortex? So this is why I absolutely hate energy drinks. Yeah. Because you're taking that caffeine and you're popping that adrenal cortex all the time. You and I both know if I gave you a two pound dumbbell and I go, hey Garrett, do a, do a curl for me. Hey Crockett, no problem. Hey yeah. Garrett, do 2,000 curls for me. You're gonna have an issue. Yeah. Because you keep popping those energy drinks and diet and this other stuff like there. So let's get on with it. So what are some of the side effects that men start noticing with low testosterone? Well, there's a lot of complaints about low sex drive and performance. Yep, low libido. So yeah, that's, uh, that's one sure sign is you know, your energy levels, um, your sex drive, um, your, your motivation. Uh, a lot of middle-aged men start to see this. Right. Um, you know, that's, and then, of course, then you become more inactive uh, with well, that. And they also go switch to the, oh, I know, I'll take another pill, the old blue pill. Right, right. right. Forget that, man. Right. I, I mean, who wants to take another pill when mm -hmm. you can get your body producing naturally and you don't have to take all these drugs with all their side effects? That's right. my opinion. I live right. a lifestyle where well, I don't take the drugs. Yeah. Yeah, no, and I think that's that's the main thing is anything you can take natural um, with no side effects, I mean, it's just common sense. You don't, you don't want – if you can take something that gives you the same kind of result uh, with no side effects, you feel safe about it, you feel good about it, and you're getting results. And you're living that life. You're, you're becoming more active – you got to get that motivation and energy level up, um, and that's living the lifestyle, being active, uh, right. being in the gym, go to the gym, do something, find a, an active hobby, you know, become proactive, um, find something that ignites 
uh, sparks sparks that motivation and passion. Well, and, and let's stop right there. Also, and another reason why this is happening is as you're getting older, your uh, production of peptides is decreasing, mm -hmm. and it's the peptides that actually signal the hypothalamus pituitary and adrenaline axis. That's the life force of the body that produces all the hormones that we're talking about, not just testosterone, but we want to keep all the hormones in homeostasis. So it all leads back to peptides. So you and I uh, discussed many times before, how many human cells makes up the average human being? Uh, 37.2 trillion. 37.2 trillion cells make up the average human uh, being, and each cell has a what? Peptide. A peptide. So guys, we got to get back to what are peptides and does this really work and, and how this works. So let's go ahead and mark off number one. That's out of there. So uh, here we go again. Difficulty with erection. So going to take the blue pill. What if you didn't have to? What if your body was actually producing the hormones that you needed and on the cellular level you still woke up like you did when you were 16 years old in tent country? Go. I mean, we make a joke about it, but it's yeah. true. That's a huge sign of it. I mean, the day you stop doing that as a male, you're like, whoa, what's going on? Well, it is. And i got to stop telling you a funny story. On multiple uh, times, I've had phone calls from gentlemen, and, uh, and they've called me up and said, hey, Crocky, you know, I need to talk to you. I said, great, what's the problem? Well, I started taking Genosim, and I feel really great. I went, okay. Mm -hmm. And they said, but I'm waking up in the morning, uh, and I'm actually, and I go, well, you're waking up in the morning, and you're back in tent country. You're yeah. acting like you're, he goes, yeah, is that normal? I go, well, was it normal when you were a younger man? There you and they went, yeah. I said, okay, so on the cellular level, your cells don't wear a watch, but mm -hmm. they do know what they're being told what to do with the natural production of hormones. So I said, instead of calling me up and telling me about it, are you married? And they went, yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. I said, why don't you go show them? Yeah. And we laugh about it, but they're happy because they got their life back and they feel like men again because you're actually able to right. perform and to be able to wake up with that morning I guess, would, as we would say. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, hey guys, we're here telling the truth today. Yep. Then, you know, that's, that's part of it. So a low T, uh, you would have a difficulty with erection. And, you know, Garrett, why don't you go through the other list of some of the other things that could actually lower your testosterone levels? Because these are bad habits and some of them are medical. We want, want you to know about this too. Yeah, we got uh, diabetes on the list. And, you know, anyone who has that, of course, is always trying to find ways in their through their routine and, and their nutrition. Stuff there for, yeah, there, yeah, type 2 diabetes, you want to listen up. We're going to be doing another show on type 2 diabetes because I can guarantee you that Genostem GS6 and Genostem Pro can kick that type 2 diabetes in the butt and you can get control again. But let's go yep. ahead and get on with That's testosterone it. today. Yeah, uh, thyroid problems, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, alcohol use, depression, stress, stress and anxiety. Guys, listen. You've got to get control. You've got to take control of your life. Life is hard, and especially with all the things we're going through right now. Yep. But remember, it's about making a decision. It's about investing in self. Every day, no matter what I'm doing, I have always decided that I'm going to invest 35 to 45 minutes a day, no matter what, in myself, whether it's walking, working out with my dog, Max, or I'm at the gym, you and I have trained together. Oh yeah. You know, you gotta stay in motion. If you don't invest in yourself, then guess what? It's just going downhill from there. And then what are you gonna do? Take more drugs for more side effects? Not right. me, it's not happening. Right. So, you know, that's one of the things we gotta talk about. So again, let's mark that one out. Difficulty with erection. I don't have the problem, never have, don't think I ever will. Thank you, Jesus, on mm -hmm. that one. Anyway, so again, if it works for me, works for you, it, guys, you know, you gotta think about it. Uh, low semen value volume um, that's a problem yeah you know so especially if you're trying to have a family have a family absolutely or if you're actually in an orgasm and you're trying to you know and you actually think about this when you're pleasing uh, your wife uh, or your partner then you know that's that, that's kind of brings on more stress and anxiety right. so that's another thing hair loss guys are you losing your hair did you know that's one of the side effects of uh, low testosterone um, <laughs> I mean hair production but uh, is is natural. It's, it's a natural, but we you know we can slow that down because these peptides actually have epidermis growth factors, fibroblast growth factors. And again, if you look at me, guys, this is my natural color hair. It grows like crazy. I'm so tired of it hanging in my face. I'm probably gonna start slicking it back in the future because yep. it just grows quickly. I might have a full head of hair. I'm 62 years old. I see other guys my age and a lot younger and. I, you know, it's like I want to go up and talk to you and go, look, we can do something about that. You can do something about that. But you've got to make a life choice. 
You so. know, and one of the great things that Garrett said that I really live by is why. Yes. The why factor. Yeah. And and the why factor. Why don't you explain to everybody what the why factor is? Well, yeah. I mean, you. What I ask people, you know, starting a program or uh, getting in the gym, I ask, you know, them their why because right. if they don't know their why, it's not going to last very long, and there's there's not a lot of meaning behind it, of right, course. Right, right. So your why can be anything. Um, it's personalized to you, of course, but it needs to be powerful. Um, it can't be just, I want to get in shape. Well, okay, why do you want to get in shape? Okay, well, I'm feeling bad. Um, you know, I have anxiety. I have these side effects. Sure. I, I don't, I'm not comfortable in my own skin. I hear that a lot, and we don't live life like that. That's only going to add to these problems. Right, right, right. And so finding out your why is step number one. Then you can, with, with that why, that will help you develop a program, okay? Because that, that why, your program, is correlated with your why. So mm -hmm. you're not going to contradict yourself. You're not going to waste your time. You're not going to do more damage. Right, right. So some of these bad habits, you know, you've lived a life for a long time, and now you're not happy with yourself. Again, are you willing to change some of these bad habits? Are you willing to invest in yourself? It's a lot easier than you think. Sometimes by just starting off by just walking a mile a day in the morning. There because after hair loss, next on our list is fatigue. fatigue. Yep. Man, fatigue, are you kidding? I've got so many friends that got to sit at home and, and, and take a nap. And they get up in the morning and they're hitting the coffee, which is hitting the adrenal cortex again. It's just a vicious circle. I, I can't. Guys, I wake up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning and this is the energy I have until I get home at the, at, from the gym. I work out at, at night, as you right, know. Yeah. I go in the gym about 8 or 8.30. There's not a whole mm -hmm. lot of people there, and I'm doing between 800 and 1,100 reps. Mm -hmm. Your routines are off the chart also, though. Yeah, yeah, I do. I like to do a lot of volume training, but I also like to push the weight. Um, not a lot of heavy, heavy lifting, but it's lifting, you know, moderate to heavy, you know, for, for reps. Um, and then it's all about the activation and keeping your mobility, keeping your athleticism. You know, I'm an ex-collegiate uh, athlete. You know, I want to keep, that makes you feel younger. But when you can yeah. perform on a daily basis, not have any bad aches and pains because you have full range of motion, um, you know, you have good mobility, um, that's, that's key. You start losing your range of motion, uh, you start feeling, you know, restricted, and no one wants that. So. Right, and, and of course, I, you know, we train, so I'm totally addicted to endorphins. I love yeah. the endorphin high. Some people call it a runner's high or something like that. Yeah. And guys, let's go back to what we're talking about. Endorphins are what? Peptides. peptides. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the pituitary gland produces a peptide called endorphins that's more powerful than morphine. Okay, so if you want to get that. But fatigue, look, I'm not going to sit around and can't get up and I'm tired and I'm sleepy and I don't feel good. I can't perform. My hair's falling out. So far, this list doesn't look real fun. Right. And I still have a lot of things that I want to do out there and, right. and, and if, I'm not giving up. Yeah, if you feel these, you know, the worst thing you can do is sit back and do nothing about it. And you have to, you have, it takes uh, initiative on your part, but it is, it takes discipline. And it's not just doing it, you know, one time out of the week. It's not just, you know, doing it on your New Year's resolution. It is living the lifestyle. And when you start living it, every, every week you can be, get, you know, better and better yep. and better. And that's what I teach all my clients. My clients, they see the results. And the main thing is consistency, um, and it's always showing up. I always tell my clients the most important workout is the one you don't want to do. Uh, because if you can do that workout, you can always do the ones you want to do. Right. Because you already want to do them. Right, right, right. But there's a lot. I mean, I go through this myself. I don't want to train legs today. Legs are really important because it naturally boosts your testosterone. Yeah, legs are, legs are a major muscle group that actually helps build testosterone more than any other muscle group out there. Right. And, you know, I sometimes don't want to train them, but I make myself train them because I know how important it is. And I know the feeling I get after that workout is way better than the feeling I have if I just, you know what, I'm going to take today off because I deserve it. No, I'm, I'm going to do that workout, get all the, you know, I'm, I'm building my discipline, I'm building my mental toughness, and I'm working on all these problems that people are going to run into if they're not training hard, if right, they're not right, doing right. any kind of routine. And sometimes people get, give up. And guys... I just read a book recently, and um, it really was a game changer for me also. It's called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And all I can say is go read the book or you can download it and, and listen to it uh, off of Amazon, and you actually get to hear David uh, talking about a little bit between chapters what was actually going on with this Navy SEAL who also became a ranger, who was also one of the top 
uh, athletes out there. I'm not going to give you too much about it, but let me tell you something. It is worth the read. It is life-changing. And this will help you possibly get off your butt. Another yeah. thing is, is by taking Genostim Pro or Genostim GS6, we want to get you the natural energy. It's not a stimulant at all. You just have the natural energy that you used to have, and you start having a good day. And then the next day you have a good day, and the next day you have a good day. So if we get you feeling good using the peptide technology, okay, and you can get up and start doing that, then guess what? Let's take fatigue and mark it out of here because you're gone. You can mm -hmm. see that I don't have fatigue, and I'm having all these other issues so far. So apparently, so far, we're up to number five. Peptides are working for me. How about you, brother? Yeah, they're good, man. <laughs> so the next one is loss of muscle mass. So if you are sitting around... A lot you're not getting the exercise that you need so let's talk about what's happening on with the muscles yeah I mean that's that's a big thing any in, in health of course right. but and the big thing now is fat loss you know right. want to lose fat well one of the main ingredients to losing fat is gaining lean muscle lean muscle yes so you gain lean muscle you automatically burn more calories um, muscle needs calories it needs food um, it will it will burn fat for you um, the as our low you know as our t goes down our muscles begin to do a new way right decrease and in muscle mass studies have, have shown testosterone affects muscle mass um, uh, but not necessarily strength and function but let me tell you something when i'm working out i still want to when i put my shirts on you know <laughs> you want to be full well, yeah. ex exactly. I mean, uh, and have good shape to you. You want to make that sure good. I still look good. Yes. You know, vanity. Yes. I think it was Solomon who said in the Bible, "Vanity, vanity, all is vanity." Yeah. Okay, I'll accept it. I'll go to confession tomorrow. But when I put on my clothes, I want to feel good about myself. I know you do too. Right. And you know, it's that whole saying. You know, you look good, you feel good. You know, it all goes together. And it's like, yeah, you know, you're not. Um, you're 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 looking good for the right reasons. It goes back to your why. If you are healthy, mm -hmm. you usually will look healthy. Right. So that's what that's the whole point behind it. Um, that kind of come that comes with it, you know, of, of being a, being a healthy person. So that's just a perk. Right yeah. There. So and again, guys, we're talking about getting a routine going, and we're going to put some routines together for you, uh, for the beginner and for also different age groups. I'm really excited about working with Garrett on this. We got some great ideas that will help you. So remember that when you start living the peptide life. Yep. It doesn't mean you got to get in the gym and you're so sore the next day that you cannot move. That means no. that you've overtrained. You basically you're injured yourself. So we're going to be putting things together for you, so you can go from level one to level two to level three, yep. and you can start thinking the why factor of why I want to get to where I want to be. And we're going to help you get there with other videos coming your way. So okay, so number six, it's out of here. I don't have that issue. You don't have that issue. If you're living the peptide life, you won't have that issue. Also, increased right. body fat. Yep. You know, I've I've seen a lot of gentlemen out there and they have this extended gut going yeah. on and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's an old term flabber ass yeah or you're drinking too much or you're drinking too much beer or blah 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 that is actually a sign of low testosterone so if that gut is starting to stick out um that's your body talking to you mm -hmm. i'm sure you've seen that a lot also uh, yep seen a lot and it's like I said, when you get on the right routine, that'll start slowly going away. But you got to make sure your testosterone is firing, you know, at a high level. You want your natural testosterone to be up right. as high as it can be, and that's why when we talk about peptides, it's kind of it's getting senior body's full natural potential. And so, uh, without that, it's going to make it hard to work on that and, and get right. the body fat off and everything. Like we were talking about motivation and things like that. So you want to make sure when it, when it comes to supplementation, you're putting the right things in your body. Um, it's not, you know, you're looking at making sure they don't have any bad side effects, sure. things like that. But you know what they are and you know what they're doing for your body. So not, not just going to a low T center and saying, you know, I have low T. Well, yeah, we know you have low T. Um, you know, well, let's try, you know, let's get injectables. You know, that might be the last case scenario. Okay. Yeah. And you brought up the low T centers. So let yeah. me just go ahead and nail it right here. Because yeah. you know how I feel about these people. Yeah. Listen, guys, for, oh my gosh, over nine years in Dallas, Texas on Cumulus Radio, I was on 1310 The Ticket, and I had commercials running, and I met all kinds of fantastic guys out there everywhere that were worried about low testosterone, and the low T centers would put their commercials on, and the problem is you come in there, and they're going to shoot you, they're going to prescribe to you, and your testosterone is going to be through the roof. Listen, there's some major side effects, and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes when we get through our list. Yep. And uh, I have asked the low T centers to come out multiple times 
And I've even called them and said, come online, uh, let's do a show together, and let's debate why peptides and naturally occurring growth factors, not to be uh, confused with growth hormones, but growth factors which you find in the peptides yeah. are more effective and safer than somebody shooting you up with your testosterone and your levels at 1,000 to 1,200, which is dangerous, whereas at 62 uh, today, my testosterone levels is in the 700s, which is in the high range, normal right. range, because yeah. you want to stay in the homeostasis with your testosterone. Again, we'll get back to, to the side effects of that in, in a few minutes. Um, let's get on to number eight. Let's, let's, let's talk about the number eight here. Yeah, de uh, decreased bone mass. Okay, so that's important, especially as we age. Um, and if we are training, uh, we want our bones to be as healthy as possible. Uh, we go through, I've seen, you know, freak accidents where, you know, legs break, arms break, oh, yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff. But, you know, sometimes it's not really, you know, it's just like, whoa, how did that happen? Someone step off a plyo box and snap their ankle. Right. I've seen that before too. And it's like, you know, you want to make sure you're you're taking the right supplementation, you're, you know, to to help your bones because a lot of people overlook that, but your skeletal system is of course well, so very important. So yep, so your peptides will actually help help you with that. Mm -hmm. um, because it's speaking to every cell in the body. Uh, your natural testosterone levels will do that. And the only other thing out there to strengthen bones is weight bearing motion. That will help strengthen the bones. So you've got the three. There's your trinity right there, mm -hmm. okay? Your peptide intake, weight bearing motion, and making sure that your hormone levels are in the zone there. And you can get that again through taking peptides with the, the genostem, living the peptide life. So, um, you know, we already know that's kind of dangerous. We'll get past that one run. So number nine is mood changes. Dude. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you seen the movie Grumpy Old Men? Oh, yeah. You want to know why? One of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, sitting around drinking, smoking cigars all day long and thinking life is over. It ain't over, guys, right. okay? I still, like I said, I'm out there living a life. You're going to live the life, and I know you're right. not going to get to that part. When you're 62 years old, you know, you're still going to be rocking it. There you go. Compared to just giving in. Don't give in. You can still be you. So mood changes. Gary, why don't you talk about what's happening with mood changes? Yeah. Uh, men with low T experience changes in moods because testosterone influences many yep. physical processes in the body. It can also influence mood and mental or capacity. Uh, research... Uh, Trusted sources uh, suggest that men with low T are more likely to face depression, irritability, or lack of focus. Lack of focus, guys. Are you having some brain fog going on? You yeah. can't remember what you're talking about, or are you you're trying to grasp or to discuss a, some, a subject that you're really interested in, but you just got the brain fog? Guess what? That could be a sign of low testosterone. What I love about the genostem peptides is that they have NGFs in it. These neural growth factors help the synapses of the brain fire more effectively. Mm -hmm. So your brain is actually just hitting on all eight cylinders, fibroblast growth factor, cell-to-cell -cell communication. So all this is I think, important. Yeah, I think we all need that right now. So Yeah, exactly. I mean, with uh, Again, with your, your, your hormonal level, not just testosterone, but of course the peptides are going to be producing through, again, the hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal axis, the HPA mm -hmm. axis. Look that up and find out why that's so important. So these peptides deal on all levels right. of hormone production, including the dreaded low T. So mm -hmm. that's why it's so important. So are yeah. you guys lack of focus right there, like what you were talking about, that circles back to the main, you know, point of motivation. If the focus isn't there, how you know, how do you expect to put in an hour in the gym? Okay? Right. You know, without looking at your phone or whatever, you know, it's like yeah, and then the mo you know, motivation, actually having motivation with mood changes. Oh, I'm just not feeling it today. You know, and yesterday you just signed up for a gym membership and you're like, man, I was, you know, I was motivated yesterday, but now or I overtrained and I'm yes. sore. So yeah. instead of getting cardio in today right. to try to get that lactic acid build up and what the peptides help you with, what are you going to do? Go sit on your ass? No. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing is with the consistency goes with the mentality. You've got to have a consistent mentality. You can't, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice if one day, you know, you're fired up for the gym and then just because you're not fired up for it, you you know, you don't go. We're not going to be fired up for it every day, but you're motivated. You have your goals. Your mood is, you, you don't want to have all these fluctu fluctuations in, in mood. You want to stay consistent in your thought process and in your goals and, and your, your why behind them. So, well, and that goes to number 10. Boom. Affected memory. Are you mm -hmm. guys having problems with your memory? That's another sign of low testosterone, other hormones. 
And of course, all this kind of adds up again. When you're sitting around, low sex drive, um, uh, hair loss, fatigue, loss of body mass, increased body fat, uh, mood changes, of course you're going to have affected memory. You know, sometimes I have to slow it down because I know these peptides have been in my blood 24 hours a day since 2003. So we know from tests that lab mice can increase their lifespan by between 10 and 30 percent. Now, mice have progressive aging compared mm -hmm. to men. So again, at 62 years old, uh, am I really 62? Because on the cellular level, I can guarantee you that I'm not. And people want to argue with me, you're not 62, there's no way. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. Again, because I'm not aging at the same cellular level. The fountain and of youth. That, well, yeah, we call it the fountain of youth effect. Yeah. And, and so I'm living it, you're living it now. And so that's going to get you back and become a better, stronger athlete. I yeah. Think. Why wouldn't you want to keep uh, your longevity? Why wouldn't you want to keep your youth as long as possible? Right. I mean, and everyone wants it. And, and here's the heartbreaker, Garrett, that, that you're going to experience also. So I'm going to prepare you now. So yeah. when it happens, you can sit back and go, Crockett was right. Crockett I'm, I'm here. I have friends out there, and if you guys are watching this video, all the way from Brian Adams High School here in Dallas, Texas, to Northeast High School, Hurricanes, Fort Lauderdale, Oakdale, um, Florida. Listen, guys, I see you out there, and I love you dearly, but you know, some people are having heart attacks already, yeah. and it breaks my heart. Or you put on so much weight, and you're having health issues that are happening. And it's like I want to reach out to you and help you, but you've got to make the choice. I, I try to show by the way I live my life that you can do it also because some of you are actually one or two years younger than I am, and we've known each other since what we're 13, 16, 17 years old, and we're still friends. I love you. You can still make the choice, but it's, it's a heartbreaker. When you start seeing your friends age faster than you do, yeah. or you start losing them, are they starting to have all these health issues? It's a heartbreaker, man. Right. Because all the kids you used to play with, they can't come out and play anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for me to understand. It's hard for me to grasp sometimes watching people age faster than I do. Um, again, they haven't been taking the peptides. Maybe they haven't been living the lifestyle. I hope that you do because recently right. um, I have some friends in Florida. Hey, guys, I saw you get your bicycles. You know, And I was so excited that you're... You're actually starting to do something and want to do something again. So let's get everybody living the peptide life. If you see anything in my lifestyle that interests you at all, or anything in Garrett's lifestyle that interests you at all, then live the peptide life. Right. So let's go on to the, the uh, next one. Hey, man. <laughs> Guys, you know what? We can make a lot of jokes about this, but uh, smaller testicle size. That's another side effect. Yeah, it naturally, you know, you're testicles are going to shrink because your body if you're you know injecting testosterone in your body it's naturally going to shut off your your natural test and well that's that's part of the side effects that we'll go yeah. into next but this yeah. also happens with low t oh low t yeah yeah so low t that so you've got it on both sides of the coin here guys so we need to get those hormones going we need to get you exercising and stuff like that if not then you're going to have your testicles uh, shrink and of course it's testicles and adrenal cortex that produce hormones so we need to take uh, care of that Pretty much also. And let's go to one of our last ones here. Boom! Talk low to me, Garrett, about counts. low blood counts, buddy. Yeah. So uh, when the researches, uh, researchers administrated uh, testosterone gel uh, to the anemic men uh, who also had low testosterone, they say improvements in blood counts compared to men who use the placebo gel. Some of the symptoms... Uh, Anemia can cause include problems uh, concentrating, dizziness, leg cramping, problems uh, sleeping, and abnormally rapid heartbeat. Boom, baby. That I mean, let's talk about it. Did you know let's talk, low testosterone can cause anemia? Nobody ever talks about it. So now you've got the real skinny right here. So um, we can talk about supplementation in the future. If you do have anemia, you and I both believe in desiccated liver tablets, mm -hmm. using liver and using peptides and stuff like that. So that's a video for another time. So... Guys, we've covered a boatload of information of the lifestyle that I sure the heck am not living. You're not living. We don't want you living it also. But that's the truth about low testosterone or some of the main side effects. Now let's get to back to these you know, uh, low T centers here, which this isn't what I'm saying. This information actually comes 
bam, from the Mayo Clinic. Yeah. And I happen to trust them. They do the research. So if you're out there and you're going to the low T centers, what are some of the side effects of taking testosterone um, or bioidentical testosterone? They have all these great names, but guess what? It's still man-made where we can get your body producing not only testosterone but all your other hormones too along with the naturally occurring growth factors and growth factors tell the cellular receptor sites what to do. So that's why it's a one-two punch when it becomes the Genostem GS6 and Genostem Pro lifestyle. So, hey Garrett, let's talk about some of the bad side effects that are very scary with these synthetic testosterone products. Yeah, I mean, first one on it is uh, increased acne. So. Yeah, I really want zits again. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, you see guys that are in their 30s and 40s and, you know, their back's all broken covered up. Covered in back knee and their arms as well. And, oh, man. You know, that's uncomfortable. Nobody wants that. It doesn't look good. Um, and that usually means, you know, whatever you're injecting at that time, you may be having too much of it and your body's reacting that way. It's a, sure. You know, it's a reaction to what you're putting in your body. Uh, male breast growth. Uh, Nobody wants that. No male wants that. Hey, bro, you're not working out. We do chest routines, okay? Yeah. I make fun of it already, but you know what? It's from lifting weights. It's working on the pecs, yeah. pecs minors, you know, pec major, and doing my chest routines. Secondary motion is always triceps. We can get the biomechanics right. all day long. You know, I'm crazy about biomechanics. You are too. Yeah. But to get these flappy uh, breasts, I mean, guys, I've seen it happen. It's, it's. I yeah, and when they refer to that, it's actually more... It's not the size of your chest, um, as in, you know, of course, muscular, but it's actually more developed on the bottom of the chest, and they, yeah. they call it, you know, gyno and all that kind of stuff. It's fluid. Uh, but, yeah, you know, that, that's a huge side effect of, you know, injecting right. something into your body that you may, you may be having too much of, and uh, it turns on your estrogen, all that, all that good stuff. So there's a lot of things to worry about when you're, you're taking these things. Uh, unlike our product, when we take our stuff, it's... No side effects whatsoever. Peptides have zero side effects. I mean, you got to think about that. Every Put cell your in mind the body. At ease. Yeah, your, every cell in the body has a peptide, right? Peptides have zero side effects that they're going to signal your body what to do. Mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, you're so on target on that too. Yeah. You know, so I don't want the side effects. So again, we're going to go back to testicle shrinkage. Shrinkage. And um, and, and here's something that people don't understand. And I know a few gentlemen out there, and they're having issues right now. Once you do the damage of taking the synthetic testosterone products, once you do the damage, Garrett, back me up on this. You can't go back. The no. damage is already done, and you're going to be that way the rest of your life. Yep. And either you're going to have to keep taking it, or you're just going to have to suffer from it, and you're actually going to be suffering more from the side effects of that. So you need to right. think about the side effects and, and you ain't going back once the damage is done. Yeah, and that goes right into the limited sperm production. If you're oh, trying yeah. to have a family, uh, you know, and of course you you know you want kids at that point that's going to Or sexual gratification. Yeah. yeah it's I gonna mean, put a know. damper on all that. Yeah, and here's another problem that so many people have. Guys, I gotta tell you, um, like I said, I wake up at five or six. This is the energy that I have. And I, I rock it all day long till I go to to bed at night, um, and usually I go to bed, I get home from the gym, I go in at 8, I get home by 9, 9.30, I walk max, um, I do a little bit of reading at night, um, and then I'm in bed, usually around 12, I'm back up the next day. Uh, most people need, you know, seven hours of sleep. Sometimes I try to get that, but I just have natural energy levels. Yeah. Um, but here's the great part about GenoSim and the peptides, is that you sleep like a baby when we start balancing out all your hormones we've got you exercising again because you feel good at the end of the night you go into sleep you get into REM sleep faster and so instead of having sleep apnea you're actually sleeping stronger right you're falling into it deeper and you're recovering faster because you've got the hormones excuse me the hormone production being produced naturally your hormone levels and here's something that you and I love about this so much, um, is that when you take the peptides and you go and do a blood test, mm -hmm. can you find anything un no. unnatural in the blood? No. Zero. You can find zero side effects because it's your body producing its own natural hormones and the growth factors telling the cellular receptor sites what to do. So when you're taking Genostem Pro and Genostem uh, GS6 and you go do a blood test, guess what? Unless you tell your physician or anything like that, they're not going to be able to right. find it because everything is 100% natural. Yep. The body's doing what it's supposed to do. So here's another one that I find extremely 
dangerous. Gary, why don't you talk about this one? Yeah, uh, increase uh, risk of blood clots. Boom. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if everyone knows this. If you do your research on, you know, different types of testosterone out there, um, you know, synthetic, it will naturally thicken your blood. It does. Um, so, of course, that can cause problems as in uh, blood clots, strokes, heart attacks. And, and you're sitting there in a sedentary lifestyle. You may be feeling a little bit better with taking some testosterone, but if you don't do a lifestyle change also, exactly. that's going to set you up. So, again, you said the next one, boom, strokes. Hell no. No, no way. No. Ain't going to happen. I'm not going to take a drug that's going to put me at risk to increase blood clots and give me a stroke. No, it's not going to happen. It's, it's not a risk that I am willing to take right. to get a quick fix when I can do a lifestyle change, take natural peptides, natural occurring growth factors, take my life back. Why? Because I deserve it. You deserve it. Yeah. And guys, you deserve it also. Heart attacks ain't happening. Here's something a lot of people don't know. You and I have discussed this many times, that peptides increase heart function. Yeah. So if you're an athlete or if you're older or if you're having heart issues out there, guys, don't take my word for it. Go look it up. Yeah. Do peptides increase heart function? Boom. The answer is yes, it does. Okay, so at 62, I'm out there on my bike. I'm swimming. I'm in the weight room. I'm trying. To, I'm always on my watch, making sure my heart rate is going and keeping it going, stuff like that. No heart issues at all. Or again, some of the people that I know and some people that are even younger are having heart issues now, and mm -hmm. it's heartbreaking because you don't have to do that. You can make the right choice. And again, that last one. What is that last one again, brother? Yeah, thickening of blood. Yeah. No way. Uh, some guys, when they start taking testosterone, you actually have to go give blood. Yeah. Because your blood is so thick that is causing all these other health issues, and they're going to tell you you need to go give blood today to thin out your blood. Really? And then they think this is okay. Let me tell you something, guys. Living the, the peptide life, we believe that we can get you there. It's work for me. If it works for me, if it works for Garrett, it'll work for you too also. Only as a last resort would I ever, ever think about taking a synthetic testosterone product. Yeah. There's just there's too many risks there. Um, I have a young son. He's 10 years old. Excuse me, 10 and a half. Remember, you got to put the half on. Oh, yeah. So when you have children, you'll know, brother. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, and guess what? I want to be here. I want to be out there playing golf. I want to be out there play, uh, kicking the soccer ball with him. Um, he likes to play hockey and things like that. I want to be able to participate with him. Taking all this other stuff, no way. So I would rather go ahead and make the investment myself. Right. Feel great. And, and keep doing it. So that's what we think about low testosterone. Here's what we know are the facts about taking the injections. That's just another jab to me. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, you know, what you were talking about is why, you know, why take that when you have a healthier, safer, just as effective alternative. And, you know, when I first met you, you know, you educated me a lot on peptides, of right. course. Um, I hadn't heard a lot about them before, just very general um, things. But this product I've been taking for, what, three, four, four months now? Right. And, you know, I feel great. You Your know? recovery is... Yeah, recovery is... I mean, I'm, I'm able to train six times a week, you know, and, and feel great doing it. And strength? Oh, yeah. Strength is great. You know, just overall body, you know, joint health, all that stuff. Right, uh, right. I feel awesome. And so... You know, there's really no need for the other stuff. Like you said, you know, that's something you wouldn't have to do for health reasons for a last resort, any kind of drug. Honestly, you want to kind of, you want to keep them out of your body if you can. And if every cell in my body has a peptide, shouldn't I be fortifying my body with peptides? There you go. And guys, listen, vitamins or minerals is a $15 billion a year scam. Read what the FDA says about vitamins and minerals. And ladies, if you're watching this, you'll find out that women that take vitamins and minerals have a shorter lifespan. Why? Because most of them were made from petroleum products. And here's a little secret that a lot of people don't know that even though it says made in the USA, Garrett, did you know that I can make everything in China as long as I ship it over here in yeah. bulk and yeah. I bottle it here in the United States under dietary supplements? I can say made in the USA. They do that with a lot of things. Oh yeah, yeah forget it. So the only thing I really take is I take my peptides and then I eat a sensible diet. Mm -hmm. I stay hydrated. I sleep and I exercise. You do the same thing. So, you know, as two athletes, me as a senior athlete and you as a younger athlete, we're still living the same lifestyle and it yeah. works. 
So let's go over a couple of things about the Genosum product. So again, we call it the fountain of youth effect. Why? Well, I hope I'm an example of it. Yep. You are too, because we know that next year that a lot of guys your age or their testosterone levels are going to start to change. They're going to start losing their hair. The belly fat is going to start coming on. And they just think, well, I'm just getting older now. Right. I had to clean that up. Forget that, yeah, okay? Yeah. It ain't happening. I'm not giving up. No way. I'm worth it. So, again, with, with living the, uh, the lifestyle, uh, reduces oxidative stress, speeds muscle recovery, raises testosterone, reduces cortisol, the stress hormone. Hey, guys, how many are actually affected by the cortisol stress hormone, which, mm. again, puts on weight in the belly area. And, ladies, if you're out there, and you can't get rid of that little body fat on your on your belly and stuff like that. Guess what? It's cortisol. We have balance that out. Uh, boost your own anabolic hormones. What's an anabolic hormone? Well, it's testosterone. Yeah. And everybody always wants to talk about human growth hormones. Man, man, I really want that human growth hormone. Right. But <laughs> Garrett, tell everybody what growth hormone is. Well, uh, it's a natural thing in your body, of course. Um, but it's a what, peptide. Yeah. What the peptides do is it activates the growth factors, and so. It's going to help you secrete more natural growth hormone in your body. And growth hormone is a peptide being produced by the body. Mm -hmm. So if you want more growth hormone, gee, maybe I should increase peptides in my there body. Naturally yeah. occurring, naturally occurring peptides. Which helps with the recovery we were yeah, talking about. Naturally occurring growth factors. Um, so if you want that, that's another thing going on also. But I want you to talk to uh, the guys out there also. I'm going to flip the list over to you because you were so excited to know that we could get these naturally occurring growth factors. Yeah. Not growth hormones, guys. Growth hormones are dangerous. But if your body's producing it, your body won't reject itself. And if we can get it produced at youthful levels or useful levels, okay, your cells don't have a choice but to change. So why don't we talk about the naturally occurring growth factors and what they actually do and why that's important not only in just everyday life but especially to, to athletes out there too. Right. Yeah, and that's, I mean, we want as much, uh, you know, natural testosterone and growth hormone in our body as, you know, we're capable of, of, of using. And, you know, we want those levels to be as high as possible because they're only going to help us with that daily routine we're trying to uh, achieve and, and stay consistent with. Right. Um, so, of course, you're going to see more results when your body's functioning at that level. So uh, the first one is IGF-1 and IGF-2. Okay. Can it's, I stop you right there for a yeah, second? Have you ever talked, everybody always talks about insulin growth factor 1. And they say it comes from deer antler velvet. <laughs> Guys, yeah. that's the biggest scam in the freaking world. Right. You're paying 80 to 120 bucks for a bottle yeah. of, of water with some deer antler velvet. Well, first right. of all, how'd they go out there and get it? Right. Hey, come here, let me get that off that deer antler there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get it for you put it in the bottle. It's going to raise that H. Uh, yeah. It's going to go back to one. It doesn't come from that. It comes from peptides, gentlemen. And they never talk about insulin growth factor too. Why? Because they can't produce it. I'm sorry to interrupt you, no, but it's like good. it's the, yeah. you and I laugh about it because it's one of the yeah. biggest jokes out there. Yeah, that, that became a big thing. I remember when I was playing college ball, they, uh, they talked about one of Ray Lewis's, uh, he was recovering from his elbow injury and surgery and he recovered so quickly and the supplement companies got a hold of it and said yeah it was because of you know deer antler oh and then they're 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 uh, having it on their shelves with the spray bottle and it's like you know spray this in your mouth four times a day and all this stuff and it's like holy moly but so many people bought it because of the, the marketing and you know you got to educate your, yourself on on those things so um yeah growth factor one and two sorry yeah. to interrupt no, you but I, we had to laugh about yeah. that one yeah it's a family of peptides that play important roles in growth of development uh, the IGF-1 mediates many of the growth-promoting effects uh, of growth hormone, while IGF-2 is essential to the liver, kidneys, and the brain function. There we go again. We want the brain function. We want exactly. the liver. We want the kidneys filtering our blood. Okay, what's next? Uh, is the FGF uh, fibroblast, fibroblast growth, growth factors. factors. Yeah. A family of peptides that play a prominent role in the development of the skeletal and nervous system. Uh, talking about that bone density. Yeah, here we go again. Our list. Okay, yeah. what's number three? NGF nerve growth factors, peptides that promote new, uh, neural cell survival. Okay. And communication. Remember, we were yeah. talking about that in the brain. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you're taking these, if you're thinking, you're clear-minded, and other people are trying to keep up with you, well, maybe they need some NGS. Uh -huh. uh, maybe it's just yeah. my opinion. Yeah, get out of that brain fog. Yeah. Uh, EGF uh, epidermal growth, growth factor. factors. Yeah. Uh, polypeptides that promote skin tissue growth and development as well as wound healing. Okay, so 
helps the epidermis. Well, skin. Love, oh, absolutely. And as as you see, guys, when people get older, if you see that your skin just really thin and they cut yeah. so much easier, it's because they need these growth factors to have that beautiful, beautiful skin. Yep. Uh, last one is CTGF, Active. connective tissue growth, growth factors. factors. Amazing. Yep. Peptides that promote collagen accumulation in the body. Uh, experimental and clinical tests have revealed that. Guys, let me tell you something. I have so many friends, and some of them are a lot younger than me, and they go to get up, all I hear is, yeah. I'm up, I can get it, I'm okay, yeah. because their joints are hurting them. Seriously, gentlemen, seriously, ladies, I'm in the gym at night. Everybody knows this. I'm doing 800 to 1,122 reps with the routines I do, and you're not seeing me getting up going, oh, I can get it, I'm making it, because I don't have any joint pain. I feel absolutely great. And I've been active and been working out seriously pretty much every day since I was 13 years old. So you do the math. I'm 62 since I was 13. A lot of athletes, a lot of old athletes have this joint pain, stuff like that. Connected mm -hmm. tissue growth factors is the key to doing it because it actually signals the body to build up collagen and rejuvenate those joints. So if you want the energy and you want to get rid of that pain, Maybe that's the way to do it is to get these naturally occurring growth factors. So I definitely need that from playing college football all those years. Um, How many times your, did you take a hit? Your body takes a, you know some wear and tear. So right. you do have some natural aches and bumps and bruises and joints and calcium deposits, all that good stuff from breaks. But you know that was one of the main, main reasons for recovery and uh, joint health right. um, that I looked into the Genostim Pro. Um, so how is the joint pain? That's great. I mean, it's, you know, it's not like going to cure your joint pain in like, you know, two weeks. Right. But you're going to gradually start feeling better. Like he was saying, you know, on, and even on the, the nervous system, you'll start thinking clearly, just feeling better, a better quality of life. Everybody wants that. And of course it goes hand in hand with a healthy routine. Um, everything has to, has to come together. So. Right, right. Garrett, my friend, we are almost out of time. We've been given a lot of information yeah. on it today. And, and I hope you guys have taken all this information in and understand it. Um, you can find out more information at genostem.com and find out more about the peptides. And listen, these peptides are super easy. They're the size of an aspirin. Oh, yeah. Easy to take. Easy to take. No side effects. I mean, you know, and they're, they're, they're you know, going to do good for you. And the main thing, you know, the one thing you have to do is just, just try them out. Yeah. That's what I did. I mean, I... I'm, I've been taking supplements for a while, you know, and it's just, you know, proteins, creatines, all this stuff. You know, you have everyone tell you about, um, you know, supplements and, you know, you can trust people and take, but you have to take it for yourself to see. And right. that's what Lorson, you know, when he came to me and told me, it's like, you know, I need to deceive for myself. I'm not just going to take his word for it right off the bat. And you see it for yourself. You buy the product, you see it for yourself. You see what we're talking about. You can live how we're living. Right. Um, and that's a, that's a big you know, that's a big part of it. That's the, that's the really the only way you can find out. And the great thing about it is you're taking something with no side effects. So, you know, let's say in a crazy world, you don't feel anything, you don't feel they're working. There's no side effects, not like taking an injection or taking a, a supplement with chemicals in there that you don't even know what these things are. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, right, right. You know, we know how they're made. We can show you how they're made, all that good stuff um, on, on a different time. But you, you can take this product with 100% uh, confidence and that's a big one for me because I want to know what I'm putting into my body yeah produced in America bottled in America everything that we do right here so guys you can live the peptide life and remember with Genosem you take one of the size of an aspirin in the morning and you can take it on an empty stomach unlike all mm -hmm. these other supplements this one guys on an empty stomach it's a protein peptide and you take another one in the afternoon the reason why you take it twice a day is because this peptide only stays in the system for 8 to 12 hours so to stay in homeostasis, which is just a fancy word that means balance in your blood, mm -hmm. you're going to take it twice a day. Your hair is going to start growing like crazy. Your nails are going to start going like crazy. Your sex drive is going up. Brain function, natural energy. Again, it's not a stimulant. Natural energy. And when you first take it, you go, I don't feel anything. Right. But within a week or two, you start having a good day. Mm -hmm. And you have another good day. And then you're going to want to get up and start doing more. And then when you finally look back on your day, you're going to see how much more you accomplished but yep. you get living the fountain of youth effect of genostem and the peptides. Quality of life. You Absolutely. will start seeing the quality of your life. It, hey, it works for me. Yeah, it works for me. So I guess, guys, hey, listen, this is Lorston Crockett. Garrett Atzmiler. We love you guys. We hope we've given you some information to think about. Go to the Genostem website. You can always reach 
out to us. We'll always make sure that if you have a question for Garrett, we're going to get it to him. If you have a question for me, I'll uh, we'll make sure I get your answer to you. And we'll come back some other times and we'll talk about the questions and some of the experiences that you're having living the peptide life with GenoStem.